Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tapped the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Aries. Welcome. Let's get into your bonus messages. This will be for Aries. Any placement. I am an Aries, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. Be sure to flip and switch the energy. Take a resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Aries reading. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Thank you for your support. Let's see. What does Spirit want you to know? For Aries, bonus messages. Angels, Spirit guides, and ancestors. What do you have? Oh, and happy birthday. We have access granted. Social media fake profile hiding. You cannot trust someone on your uh, socials. This could be someone DMing you from a fake page, okay? Trying to get information or access to you. Okay, this could also be someone having access to your stuff. They're being faulty with their intent. They may say, let me use your phone. And they clone it or hack it or they just want to see something in it. It could be a, a lover too. They want to scroll through your phone. They say they're playing a game or they're using your email or whatever. Someone has ill intent here. Access granted. Some of you are gaining access to something here as well. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that's clout chasing. They're living a lie on social media. Or this could be you. Let's let's flip and switch it. For Aries, multiple scenarios. I got soul moving, physical location change. We are in a season of uh, change in location here. So this could be someone you're dealing with. Again, flip it, switch it. Uh, looking for a place to stay. They could be putting someone out. Someone has access to your home. If I was to combine the two, you could have dropped a key somewhere. This could be someone you used to date. They copied your key. Someone wants to come move with you with access granted in this home and a key here. I have keys here. And I have a key and lock here. Someone could want a key to your home. They could want to have access to you. Okay, let's see. What else for Aries? Some of you just moved or you're getting ready to move. Because you feel like someone has access to you. Let's we'll see. If not combined, we got social media stuff. We got to move here for Aries. In reverse trash. Access granted. It's giving with discarded throwing out in reverse. Someone can't let something go. It should have been trash. This person should not have access to you. Or they said that they wanted to get into your home and look for some stuff after they moved out. Could have a kid with that person. The baby of mine that just um, <laughs> made that noise was a Capricorn. So, could be dealing with a cap for some of you. Let's see. What? Okay. We got insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Could have been some sexual tension or a friends with benefit situation. They could have cheated on you. You put them out or vice versa. They put you out because you cheated oh okay this could also be a i really feel like a friends with benefits situation having a hard time releasing their past wants access to you or a key to your home oh okay well they have it you could be looking for a place to stay you want more for yourself too let's see what else for aries that flipped in reverse and it fell in front of access granted divine feminine in reverse so we got either a distorted feminine a, di a distorted woman a woman has thrown herself off a of feminine energy for my same sex people has thrown herself off by giving people access to her or someone's trying to gain access to you to throw you off for you feminine energies for you men if you see that somebody is not acting like themselves someone's trying to play in their energy because they cut them off, this could be friends too. They want more from you. Someone's trying to drain you as well with insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more access. No. What else for Aries? Yeah, if it's the same sex, the femme or the more girly one. And we got a commitment sideways. Needs to watch who she gives access to. Yeah. With commitment sideways is either unrequited or y'all in a friends with benefits situation or people keep trying to block your love life or it's like you don't know what you want. You get halfway in a relationship with this insatiable sexual tension thing here. 
Someone doesn't know what they want with you, but they want access to you. That's weird. Let's not do that. Let's see. What else for Aries? I'm going to clarify these cards if I did not say that. For Aries. Lockdown, mental prison, confinement. Someone could be in jail with lockdown, confinement. Or they're in their head a lot about what they want with you. They could feel like they ruined something with you. They could feel like they degraded you too. It's like they know your worth, but they put you in a friends with benefit situation. Ooh, or you did this. Mm -mm. Someone's an overthinker though. Let's see, what else for Aries? Can't wait to clarify this. Ascension. Came out slanted. Came out like this. Like, moving on up. Cool, I like that. Someone's growing. Spiritual path and awakening. And then we got history. Egyptian energy here with past happened. Ear just rang a little bit. Okay. So some of you could have a past life in Egypt. Some of you need to release your past. Well, this is someone you're dealing with. Well, let's let's clarify for y'all's bonus read. Spirit dropping the bombs. Okay. Siri, I ain't said nothing to you. Don't start. <laughs> I'm gonna do two rounds of clarifications. Let's get another situation. And then we're gonna get a tarot card make this make sense for aries what's the energy inner child healing wounded coping mechanisms learned behavior self-discovery i want to cut spirit let me see what we got in the center cut the deck on fulfillment nine of cups pisces energy success achievement a happy outcome all right what's access granted for aries angel spirit guides and ancestors illusions codependency confusion this is this is mm -mm. not seeing clearly escapism addiction fantasy codependency it's an illusion whoever this is coming into your life is not real it's not a real relationship they don't have good intent they're living a lie they're coming in with lies they've probably more than likely been watching you want to distort you want to block you from actually getting with someone of good intent mm hmm this could also be someone that you gave access to them because you have an issue being single and alone. For you men working on your codependency traits or your feminine side, the the love, the I mean, everybody should be loving, the, in, the intuitive part, the soft part, the affectionate part, the, you know, the estrogen. But um, men have an issue with that. Oh, that's, that's, not, that's not masculine. We are supposed to be balanced. Getting back to the read, though, as a whole, um, some of you men have been dealing with a distorted, codependent woman. You need to release that. She has to grow and figure things out on her own. She's keeping you stuck from ascending because she's from your past. Drama queen, thirsty causing chaos, extreme, harsh cutoff, legal court paperwork filed. Mm -mm. Some of y'all have been to court about this lady for you men. Could be child support, splitting of assets, public, public peace disturbance domestic dispute okay she ain't wrapped too tight unfortunately we're gonna get another clarification so rose tinted glasses this person could do no wrong you keep giving them access to you or your person keeps doing this with a feminine energy or, or whatever how they go not seeing clearly and again i really feel if someone wants access to you they've been watching you it's an illusion they don't have good intent what's sold present attracting gratitude abundance okay tranquility success i did see the nine of cups some of you are getting ready to move some of you are getting ready to get a new home you've been working on it present and yeah you, yeah i like that okay or this is someone connected to you they could definitely be pushing you away because they want to focus on their stability or this you it's definitely a new home and a new move though some of you you have a new place someone wants to come with you trash in reverse why is this in reverse make this make sense okay spirit guides divine guidance signs of synchronicity guardian closed off resistant guarded blocking guardian and guarded damn blocking pride defensive wounded warrior moon intuition subconscious emotions fear deceit things are not as they appear i don't trust this person this could be somebody from your past or this was trash when it stepped to towards you it was already something that you needed to more than likely red flag. Okay, because your guys have been giving you signs, guidance about whatever this is, whoever this is, that you need to let it go. 
or this is someone connected to you they need to release somebody from their past they could be closed off towards you too or you need to be closed off and guarded towards this person when spirit guys show up definitely a great reason to be closed off to somebody uh some of y'all could be dealing with a carlos or somebody with a last name brown 616 on my phone hmm so six could be the number of guides uh spirit guides and uh tarot the six of swords is spirit guides the six of pentacles could be spiritual support too so definitely spirit guides here guiding you yeah carlos is for me a mexican name too that could be a connection mexican heritage yeah carlos and I ain't trying to be funny, but Brown is a famous black person last name, too. So, hmm. Can't wait to get a tarot here. Something needs to be left in the past. Like, if you cut somebody off because they were faulty, because they were wrong, or because they were unhealthy, or because you just didn't fuck with them, leave it like that. That's how I feel, because do people deserve second chances? It depends on what they did. And to be honest, I'm so spiritual. I feel like the past is the past freedom new direction i talked all that talk just to look at this card aquarius energy leap of faith breaking free new cycle fast change new direction i repeat new cycle new direction okay so i'm getting notifications let me check them out i got something from my photo grid what's your photo of the day happy saturday someone could be liking your photos trying to get your attention and then I have a I am vibe Mike liking something on Instagram. So y'all could be dealing with a Mike. Okay. So I'm just going to shout out that stuff. Let's see. What is insatiable for Aries? And never, never land. Nobody wants to grow old, so somebody could be immature. Hey Siri, what is uh -huh. what is life Jennings zodiac sign? Jennings is an American national born. She's slow. Hold on, y'all. I want to see something. To make sure that this is not another. I be trying to make sure I don't miss nothing when it comes to these readings shit life jenning zodiac is a gemini some of y'all could be dealing with a gemini too yeah when i do a collective reading i want to make sure so i have with the insatiable unquenchable wanting more i'm definitely not liking the energy it says the past is over <laughs> starting over soul growth ascension clearing trash but in reverse new intentions i said watch someone's intentions coming out as a pair and then ego at the bottom of the deck as a pair with you starting over or having something fresh in your life or this is happening for your person here comes this external party situation some of the definitions are a karmic partner is an external party a friend a family member work could be other people in the mix obligations responsibilities there's something in the way but it's coming out with insatiable so let me break this shit down this person could have said, I got other stuff going on. They could have started with you. They could have came your way. They could have got things going. They could have started. I got other things going on. I can't really do much more than, you know, hooking up when we can. Mm -hmm. Another situation is they ex keep coming back trying to fuck on them, seduce them, codependency here with the illusions and the access. Or this is happening to you. This could also be people running their mouth, painting illusions because they have access to this person or because they're watching you on social media. Look at this. They showing a boob. Look at this. He got on the sweatpants. He's showing his his penis print. Somebody could be <laughs> somebody could be projecting over y'all over y'all's connection to them about you. Friends. Fake ass friends, nosy ass family members. Because I can't stand. Here come here come the Aries and me. I can't stand when people got something to say. They didn't live 20, 30, 40 years making mistakes. They want to tell you how to navigate your lessons and how you're supposed to live life. Hell no. You're going to do what you're supposed to do the way you're supposed to. That's why you have an intuition. That's why you have guides. That's why you have nudges and notions and dreams and vibes. You got to walk your own walk, talk your own talk. Yes, it's beneficial to get advice from other people, but take what resonates just like you do in the reading. Whoever this is is projecting. They fucked up. They live their life. Let you fuck up and live your life. You will never do it again. 
Some of y'all, somebody cheating on you, and they started over a brand new relationship because they have a sex addiction. Addiction. Right here. Okay, they they allow a lot of people in their energy. That's weird. Or they put themselves in un, unfavorable, unfortunate circumstances or places. Un, un, what is this? Unquenchable, wanting more, insatiable. Matter of fact, I think Prince is a Gemini and he has a song called Insatiable. Lord have mercy. Appearances matter. Six of Wands. Leo energy. Bound to expectations or approval of others. Some of y'all, y'all person is worried about how they look, how much they got, how much they have to offer. Or they compare themselves to you. Or somebody behind the scenes and got in this person's head. So your person could be in their ego trying to control the situation. Guarded, resisted, blocking, pride, ego. Pride here and pride here. I ain't lying. I got pride here on this card and then pride right here in this corner. Now we got a person named William Campbell. Okay, some of y'all, I'm all these names, I'm going to blurt out. Divine Feminine in reverse. They letting other people or another situation get in their way. And for some of you, it's simply they got to heal or they got to open up or they got to release their ideals in life or stop giving access to other people because that's a blockage too, for real. Or you need to quit giving access to this person because they could be draining you. They could be codependent or they just or very distorted. Who is this woman in reverse or divine feminine? Allegedly, this is also a false person trying to be like you, trying to act like she has her shit together, trying to act like she is this empress energy. She's not. Or this is a person trying to confuse you with an illusion. She's not an empress. She's not. She's very distorted and karmic as fuck. Let me say that. Make it real clear. Karmic partner, especially if you're cross-watching for Aries. No. Divine Feminine Reverse. Twin Flame. Okay. Someone, well, I got a whole lot of scenarios for that one right there. Some of you have allowed your twin to distort you. They confused you. They threw you off your game because they put you in a friends with benefits situation. They got to heal. You may say oh well they ain't my twin because they ain't acting right no we got duality we got people that are dark and light sometimes your twin is supposed to trigger you by being the worst villain in a movie that's how you learn that's how you grow because i'm pretty sure there's a part of you if this is your twin really truly your twin loving them unconditionally you forgave them every time that's your lesson you can forgive but you ain't got to repeat hmm you kept allowing them access to you because you have codependency issues or this is them with you. Or some of you masculines, flip it, switch it. Your divine feminine is distorted, but because she's your twin, you wouldn't let go or you wouldn't give up. Cool. Don't give up from a distance. Believe in them and have faith that they will get through whatever the fuck this is. Now, another scenario, I feel that there is someone out here with telepathic, spiritual connection, magnetic, divine connection, strong soulmate, trying to tell somebody that that's their twin. No, you're a karmic, a strong karmic at that. Trying to confuse somebody with an illusion, acting like you're that person's twin. Moon, things are not as they appear. Divine feminine in reverse. The moon is yin. This is a distorted fem <laughs> feminine trying to confuse someone's twin. But all she is is a karmic soulmate. Lord have mercy. Am I missing something with this lady right here? Ancestors in reverse. Alchemy in reverse. Alchemy in reverse. And the bitch doing black magic. Temperance card. Lack of patience. Lack of healing. Uh, with moderation in reverse. Impulsive transmutation and patience. Oh my God. Transmutation and patience. Whatever she's doing, she's trying to distort the energies. I don't know who that is. This lady is confusing. Or you're confused because of this lady painting illusions and she's disconnected from source or some of you have become disconnected from your angels and your ancestors because you are having a hard fucking time staying on course Whew, lord commitment sideways for aries ace of air clarity communication breakthrough decisive action epiphany sudden truth and what are the fucking plans for this relationship you've been stuck in a situation where you don't know where it's going or somebody you was dealing with was stuck in a situation where they didn't know what they wanted with you or they didn't know what they wanted with their past trash and reverse they ex came back that also threw everything for a loop and another situation is i feel like you told this person exactly what you wanted they not meeting you there 
So there is some kind of limbo. You may have decided, okay, we can just be friends with benefits. You may have compromised yourself. Okay, let's fine, fine, fuck it. We just stay like this. No. Codependency. If they say they don't they don't want long term, you say, okay, fine. It ain't gotta be long term. We could just be friends. And y'all still end up fucking, and you end up giving this person too much access to you, distorted yourself, or you got got with a distorted woman because they didn't know what they want. And now you blocked. Now your clarity is lacking. This person needs to tell you exactly what they want. That's what they need to do in order for everything to move swiftly. Once locked down, the world, new cycle, telling you, karmic. Somebody is a karmic partner uh, in a big-ass lesson. Travel, fulfillment, achievement after obstacles, success. Again, something is supposed to be great, awesome, but it's not. So, in other words, there's a lot of potential here. Lockdown. Got external parties, though. You don't know where you stand with this person, but you accepted a friends with benefits dynamic, and that's a no. Lockdown. Mental prison confinement clarified with empowerment. Heart chakra opening compassion. Happiness truth revealed. Ace of air is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. With a twin flame card, it's like the wild card in Uno. Could be any fucking sign. Okay. Sun and strength, Leo energy. Trying to see what else I got here. History could be six of cups, Scorpio energy. Seven of cups with the confusion, Scorpio energy. Okay. Temperate Sagittarius energy. Moon, water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mainly Cancer and Pisces. But anyways, someone really wants to express themselves truth revealed heart chakra opening happiness but they closed off they in their head mental prison confinement some of you there's an illusion of a masculine that would like to speak speak his truth or you're this masculine waiting on this woman to tell you how she feels or feminine energy moving on ascension because that's straightforward somebody wants to say something do something or waiting on something to be said or done and it ain't happening ascension if i see illusion one more time Something is not real. Something is not what it's supposed to be. Limitations, anxiety, fears, comfort zone, overthinking, negative outlook. That's why I came out like you was on the right track, but sure. Something is confusing to you. You know what they say? Healing unworthiness, boundaries, the big B. Expectations. I'm pretty sure this person gave you an idea like yeah we can do this we can do that we can have this we can have that you got your hopes up which means you also had expectations not entirely your fault but what is your fault is the fact that you get upset when things do not pan out or they don't include you and stuff or they don't tell you what they're doing they don't invite you out that's not assertive a person being assertive and you releasing control will help you vice versa you be more con you be more consistent i almost slipped out my mouth consistent and assertive so this person won't be wondering where they stand with you however it go well this is what they need to do for you and if you feel like you don't know where you stand with a person snippity snip snip get the bush scissors i don't care if it's a twin or not i'm pro twin flame i want every last twin flame on this planet to get their shit together and to come together and to be together but when i see a twin flame situation being a drag, I will speak on it. Because when you grow, they grow. So if you end up being my client or you end up even having a conversation with me in a grocery store, I'm going to tell your ass, release that. So they can stop being enabled by you. Because if they married and they miserable and they unhealed and they hopeless and you accept them, of course. You love them unconditionally, of course. You're supposed to. But when you also add your physical body, your expectations and all of that into that, you get hurt. So who's helping who now? Release that shit boundaries self-worth that motherfucking car is hyphenated i mean that word is hyphenated yourself first tweet or not history and i'm tired of people lying on what twin flames are stop it gotta heal the past period in order to have anything new Rather a renewal or something brand new with new love. You gotta let the fucking past go. I don't know why I'm turning up on y'all, Aries. Nurture wants to take care of you, provide a protective. Okay, great. 
handle that. Page of Wands. Exploring. Expedition. Somebody could travel for work. Someone can be a messenger, a prophet, a speaker, a blogger. Good news coming in. I feel like it's exploring your options. Let's see. There is a star. Aquarius energy. Healing, faith, hope. Access granted. Let's break this shit down. Nine of Swords. You regret giving this person access. This person keeps tapping into your energy while you're sleeping. Energy vampire. Giving you headaches. Making you... Or your person has PTSD. They can't see. They got a whole lot going on in their motherfucking mind. The access could be people they dealing with. Stressing them out. Or energies in their home. Sucking them dry energetically. Or they keep dealing with people that are codependent. Or they have addictions. Something here that they need to close off. Two. I got access granted and closed off. They need to close the fucking door. They being guided to do so. Someone does have PTSD though. I see that. Someone could have sent someone something. Like digital magic. Access granted. Fake profile. Hiding. Social media. Social media could, is still in tarot. I feel like it could be a device. Because where else are you going to see it? It's online. On your phone. On your computer. Social media. It's a device. Somebody sent something to somebody. Yep, yeah, they're doing work on somebody. And they pay somebody to do it. There's the emperor. There's you. Or this person was some kind of authoritative figure. Or they had an authoritative position. Moon again. Uh, so many illusions. Nine of swords. Gemini energy came out when I was asking about the zodiac. Let's see. What's the moving? Okay, so P PTSD, faulty person, digital magic, stress about the past, or they keep letting somebody come in and out of their life that's stressing them the fuck out, but they codependent, so they like it. They keep giving them access to them. When you ain't around, that's what they're dealing with. Yeah. Moving. Y'all could have used to stay with this person. Moving. They can't sleep. They want you to come to the... Oh, my God. So, another scenario is they can't sleep nine of swords they want you to come stay with them they want you to keep them company seven of wands somebody need to stand their motherfucking ground and protect their shit protect your money protect your home boundaries for what you're what you're attracting stand your ground stand firm on something overcome all the obstacles persevere because you're working hard towards something this home this new move six of cups though i said that with this history card i sure did Something from the past or someone from the past. You need to stay stay guarded against. Against. I don't care who it is because they, it's bullshit in the air. Potential but bullshit. They need to boss up and close the door on their past. Fuck that. Because that shit is bleeding over into your life. Heavy on the bleeding over. You can't heal where you got hurt. That's them. And you cannot help somebody become their best self and you attaching yourself to them and you got all that unhealed energy in, on you. Stay away from people that's working on themselves if you not. Oof, that, I felt that. I felt what I said. What's the, <laughs> trash? Nine of cups. Hmm, then I see, I did. Five of cups, this ain't what they want. This is what they wanted, what they thought they wanted, what they thought was fulfillment was not. It was a disappointment. Five, five of cups, trash. This was their wish. For some of you, you're done with this person. They want to come back towards you. They feel like you're their wish. Or this is what's happening to your person. Spirit guys is guiding you towards happiness and fulfillment, which you have to be done with the past. This person could also be guarded and closed off towards you, even though you're their wish. However it go. Moving on. Pisces energy. External party. Ace of Wands. They having sex. They having sex with someone else because the external party clarified un <laughs> unquenchable, insatiable, wanting more. Unquenchable, insatiable, wanting more. Ace of Wands is a fucking penis. It's everything. You know, new beginnings, fire, passion, and a penis. Clarifying the sexual card with a third party 
they having sex with other people this person is involved with other people they're involved with other people they have a sex addiction or this other person keep coming towards them trying to throw their sex at them king of wands no no with that lion on the back of the throne y'all could be dealing with a leo i'm telling you sun strength that is leo lion is also leo could have a leo placement this person is fired to fuck up they could be fucking around on other people exploring their options and you having sex with them too so there goes your energy there goes your distorted energy i'm telling you this person is dealing with somebody else i'm not gonna say it no more Ain't no other way around it. Y'all was supposed to get things going, but y'all didn't. Or you ended up in a friends with benefit situation learning a karmic lesson with this person. Yeah. Or them with you. Twin flame with divine feminine in reverse. Page of swords. You know what? Now when I see that page of swords card, I'm like, you watching, but you ain't doing shit. That's somebody that's watching. Projecting, maybe even jealous. But when it comes with this twin flame card, I'm not going to say nothing negative about it. They're watching. They're not doing shit. They all empress. Right when I get to this divine feminine, that's the empress. In reverse, though. This is your natural energy. You could be stuck on this person. Everything they do, everything they say, you want to apply it to you. Page of swords. Seeking. Gathering. Info. Looking into something. Stalking. Watching. One more. Or this person communicates like a fucking child, which throws you off, and you're a fucking empress. Or this is how you need to treat your empress with respect and awesome communication. Twin flame, page of swords. Strength. I'm telling you, y'all dealing with a Leo. That person has a major Leo placement. Okay. Strength. Twice. Holding back, I feel, with all of this strength. Let me see some watching you from afar aries energy mm -mm. what is this person saying thinking or doing what's this page of swords i don't know who this is but they're annoying y'all could have got into it or they dealing with somebody else i want to work things out what's the page of swords well they keep meeting raunchy women page of swords there was someone interfering in our relationship. Somebody projected over y'all's connection and caused you to be distorted or caused them to turn their back on you, which threw you off your game. I don't know what I want and confused them. Illusion. Why is holding them back? Strength. Hard. This person has to overcome this shit, though. What's the strength? So the page of swords is interference. What's the strength? Or oh, they're watching you instead of taking action. The strength is you, the person of my dreams okay and they sorry what else strength there's a third party i'm telling you <laughs> can y'all see that somebody else in the way somebody's interfering there's a third party and they feel like they're not good enough for you for somebody they for some of you they chose another person or they just didn't pick you they may not have chosen that other person. They still dealing with them instead of picking you and focusing on you. External party is in the way of this connection. I'm telling you. That's a... annoying. What's commitment sideways? They holding back and watching you. So you distorted because you can't figure out what the fuck going on. They threw you off. They threw you off. Or you threw this person off. Or you thrown off by this distorted feminine because she don't know what she want. Flip it, switch it. Commitment sideways. The hierophant, that's a commitment. You and this person are supposed to be together. Married? This is a spiritual connection. Or they're married and they're sneaking around with you. If they're not married in a long-term stable connection with somebody else, you are this person's ancestral with, ancest <laughs> with ancestors. You are this person's ancestral inheritance. But they dealing around, fucking around, sleeping around, fooling around with other people. They ain't their part... <laughs> They ain't a part of their soul's mission or spiritual inheritance. They need to take action and figure out what the fuck they want. Taurus energy with the motherfucking hierophant. I'm telling you. And there go the emperor. This divine masculine belongs with this divine feminine. I'm telling you. But they over there doing 
how whoever doing what something wrong with somebody else or they're not they're giving you non-requited unrequited energy instead of really truly giving to this connection because that's what they want to do or well, they got a whole lot of other shit going on or they're focusing on family focusing on their stability they feel like they're not good enough for you they want to become stable they want to feel like head honcho okay or this you why is this ancestor card in reverse on this commitment ten of swords because it's a brutal end it's a betrayal they got to get that shit together they got to heal they need closure and they with somebody that's not supposed <laughs> that's not in their birthright spiritual birthright that ain't this ain't that strength and it's a third motherfucking party for the third time how many times we gotta see <laughs> how many times we gotta see third party to understand this person ain't focusing on what they need to be focusing on or this you Mental prison. King of Pentacles. Mental prison. High priestess. One more. Two more. They can't follow their intuition. They feel lack. Five of Pentacles. The high priestess. Let me see. Because the son could be a pregnancy. The high priestess could be a pregnancy. You could be a mistress or you have a mistress. They could be wanting to move forward, but they're conflicted to do so. They go back and forth. Intuition, mental conflict. Stability, I got it. Do I have enough to offer them? I don't know. Truth reveal. They go back and forth about coming towards you. What is you? They got some shit they need to deal with. Repressed. High priestess. They could be a police officer for some of you. Or in a law enforcement justice politics warm me some with the stars and the armor leo and cancer and pisces and taurus and leo again energy who is this what is this let me get words from the king of pentacles some of you are intuitive like you get in downloads you having dreams about this person but it don't align with what's happening into reality so you get confused and conflicted five of wands in your head you think you losing your shit oh i keep having all of these strange dreams but when i wake up every day that's not my reality illusions 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 king of pentacles what he got to say fairies I need time. Sideways. He almost ready. <laughs> High priestess. Or they need time to cut their husband off. Or they man. If for you men. High priestess. Because he take care of them. I miss you. This is telepathic. They. <laughs> you the love of my life. Some of y'all are getting a whole lot of telepathy from this person. Or they miss their mistress if they cut their mistress off. One more for the high priestess. Some of you have been sending telepathic messages to them. I ain't lying. Because I'm tapped the fuck in. Right here. Te <laughs> telepathic. Magnetic. Spiritual connection. Strong soulmate. High priestess, I miss you. Somebody's sending telepathy. Because she sits in between the realms. The veil is... She is the veil. <laughs> okay. Transmute from that realm into this realm. She right there in the middle. She been sinning or you been sinning or you been getting. How did they go? And if, let me make something clear. My divine master has come out as a high priestess. It's all about intuition and insight and the gift of psychic ability or seer. Psyche. Anybody can be psyche. Shit. The, oh, shit. I was going to say that the male version of the high priestess is the high priest. That's the higher fit. This is a spiritual connection. Very strong magnetic connection. Tap the fuck in on steroids. They don't even know it yet. That is divine counterparts. The high priestess and the hierophant. And that emperor kept showing up and so did the empress. Y'all keep peeking out in this deck. I seen it. Sure did. This is a divine connection. They ain't divine though right now. That's why the divine feminine was distorted. Or they dealing with a distorted divine feminine. One more for the high priestess. I miss you and what else? 
I dive in and out of a relationship. Everything that they're not doing in a 3D, they're telling you in a 5D. They're telling you why they ghosted, why they pulled back, why they're not acting right. Or for some of you, this is the fact that you have been a mistress or you've had one and they miss you. And they've been in and out of your life because they married. Some of y'all dealing with a Josh. Y'all can work at a job y'all don't like reading that text. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. There's... <laughs> Y'all that card say there's a third party. I ain't lying. I'm clarifying why there's lack, why there's sneakery, why there's treachery, because there's another person behind the scenes. There's a third party blocking this connection, a karmic partner, may I add, or your person is still doing, behaving in karmic activity. This is y'all read. Ain't nothing else. The only God is is let shit go that ain't flowing. And when it's flowing into the lane of bullshit, skirt over. Peace.